how to change my life. Roshan, sociologist and psychotherapist, bringing to you again another tip around mental health and self-discovery. This time related to the impactful changes in our life. Um, you might want to change or transform your life for a while or just recently and you wonder where to start or maybe you tried something already and it's maybe partly happening partly not um, my story was that I was so determined to self-develop that I started from spirituality and it was my focus for many years yeah and <laughs> Now, from the perspective of time, I see I just switched the order. I should have started from my human uh, development to be able to um, fully spiritually develop. Um, because we are living human experience. Uh, we have our emotions, we have our stories, we have our relationship, our patterns, our self-beliefs, uh, our hopes and fears. This is all human. This is all human. It's natural. And whether we do mistakes, whether we make a right choice, if we don't realize, if we're not aware of our choice, why we are doing it, what is related to our hurts, what is related to, to our wants, uh, of ego wants, then we can, you know, later on we can um, distinguish it. That's the ego. We might pay attention to it only uh, as much. And this is actually the real goal and I want to share it with the like-minded people, do good things for others and stuff. This is like really high goal and it's great. I started from it and I failed <laughs> because I failed to see my human side. I failed to, to see and heal my human wounds, my emotional wounds and, and also I failed in the past to forgive those that needed to be forgiven S leaving me finally free way to develop as a human as a spiritual being whatever so uh, the, the my tip from this perspective of uh, over 20 years of uh, self-development uh, is start from yourself <laughs> but start from yourself really from basics uh, I really cannot overestimate um, the power of therapy. Uh, even if you consider yourself a healthy being, healthy person, uh, healthy emotionally person, there is always blind spots you don't see about yourself. Maybe some, some things you're doing in every relationship or uh, some things you might tell yourself um, on everyday level. Uh, yeah, you're great at that, but this one you will never succeed. You, you know, maybe some of these beliefs were not yours. Maybe someone planted it to you when you were small or when you were trusting some partner. And I'm not saying to blame. That's a, that's a huge secret about uh, digging in the past. It's not about finding the guilty ones, but finding the reason, the cause of some of the things. So when I look at it right now, I can decide is it real or is it was some people's opinion? Take it or leave it. Leave it. I will try myself again now after this 15, 20 years and check for myself. I won't believe that a situation in the past that tries to persuade me I'm not good at that. I will try it now again. And you see, that's that, that kind of things or um, somebody, uh, that there were a few relationships that broke up and you, you might have heard few things uh, that were hurtful and you take it on to the next relationships that then then again you're just believing so somebody or some situation happened in the past and but maybe you you just believe that that's the reason why you will never be happy uh, and it's sometimes about uh, also looking into the events from the early um, mm, our life and distinguishing maybe this situation I perceived from the eyes and the level of you know intelligence and uh, an awareness of this four-year-old but 
now I'm 24, now I'm 34, and I can actually see it differently. Uh, so why should I now determine all my life based on this few moments and this, you know, narrow, small person's interpretation of it? Um, because then later on, when we bring it to our adult life, that can uh, serve us as this negative self-beliefs. And then we can start self-sabotaging our growth, uh, our relationship to others, our career, because we'll be thinking, those things that happened they, they were real oh my gosh they were real so they were they are real now and they will always be real you know in that way everything good that happens to you you will be perceiving from this perspective of you from the past and how can you move forward how you can really transform your life how you can bring the change forth if you're not allowing to change your this initial statements um, and I also I like to use this example of um, of um, forgiveness because um, often when there are uh, really tough things to forgive uh, we might hesitant and we, we might be hesitant to forgive and think no this person didn't deserve um, forgiveness uh, if I hear it in in the therapy room I'm saying don't do it for that person do it for you because then you are stopped of moving forward uh, and often also this time at, uh, of forgiveness um, it is a process it takes time the, the forgiveness is a process it takes time uh, so it also you, you should also give yourself a chance to let it go um, and, and that's why the our human side is very complex uh, it um, it's, it's, it's related to, to our past and sometimes digging stuff out uh, help us to just basically leave it in the past and uh, to not to blame anybody in, from this past just to accept it as a condition that happened there but now you are in here your adult self you can make your independent choices you can uh, establish new definitions of yourself of the world of what you're able not able <laughs> who you deserve to be with who you deserve to be and then from that time on you can really start your shift your transformation your change to, to you know take a speed and when you are there you're really on the highway